Perfect, good. Okay. Okay, okay. so the first thing we have to do is have a good old look. So it's good to have a, a white surface behind you mm -hmm. um, so you can check the colour. And the first thing you're going to ask yourself is, is it clear or hazy? So can you see straight through it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we okay. can. It's nicely or oh, very well clarified and filtered or just, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So if there was any sort of haziness or cloudiness, that may be a sign of the fault, but it may also be a sign of, of certain winemaking techniques. But as far as we can see, it's clear. And mm -hmm. um, the second thing you're going to ask about is how uh, intense the colour is. So how much can you see through the, the wine? With white wines, we tend to say it is pale if you can color, uh, sorry, cover everything but the last kind of centimetre of liquid with mm -hmm. your hand. If you have no colour at the edges, so if it looks like water at the edges, mm -hmm. you'd go for pale. If you have colour going all the way to the edges, you'd go medium. And if you have quite a deep and intense colour, you'd go for deep. Mm -hmm. So in this case, this we can see quite a lot, no? Through yeah, it, we absolutely. would call it quite pale. Perfect, good. So we've got a pale wine. And in terms of colours, we have the options of lemon green, lemon, gold, amber and brown. And typically these are signs of the wine becoming older and older. Often very, very young white wines have a slightly green tinge. Lemon tends to be the most common white wine descriptor that we use because it means the wine looks prominently yellow. <laughs> looks, yes. If you look at it and think, Looks it like says, white wine. It looks and it looks pretty pale lemon, no? Yeah. Exactly. Good. Okay, so we have a, a clear pale and lemon wine. Next thing we need to do is give it a good old swirl. Okay. 